Justice is looking into alleged discrimination within the Cobb County Fire Department. This is the six. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Blair Miller. The DOJ says the fire department was allegedly using unfair hiring practices that disproportionately affected African American job candidates. Atlanta News First Chelsea Bimefor is live tonight outside Cobb Fire Station number five. Chelsea, the fire department claims any discrimination was unintentional. That's correct, and since those accusations were made nearly eight years ago, the Cobb County Fire Department has changed uh, some of their hiring practices, but now the Department of Justice wants to ensure that everything remains fair moving forward. Between 2016 and 2020, the U.S. Department of Justice claims that the Cobb County Fire Department used hiring practices that unintentionally discriminated against black candidates. The county says the DOJ took issue with them using credit checks as a screening tool and requiring applicants to take a standardized test not directly related to firefighting. In this case, you know, when you're talking about hiring practices, they just want to make sure that the hiring practices don't go back to what they were before they had this action file. The county is now considering entering a consent decree or an agreement to improve and keep hiring practices fair. Attorney Tony Lehman explains. The court is telling you you have to do something different in the future. And to make sure you do it, the court maintains jurisdiction over the case, keeps the case in front of it. So that way, if they do something that's not allowed, the other side can come back in and say, you know, we had this consent decree. They violate it. You need to find them in contempt find them, order some additional action, things of that nature. If commissioners enter the consent decree, the county would be required to pay $750,000 to eligible complainants and hire 16 new firefighters. In a statement, Cobb Commission Chairwoman Lisa Cupid said, I look forward to resolving this with the DOJ to end any practices that could have unintended disparate or discriminatory impacts. Our goal is and should always to be inclusive in finding the best candidates to work in Cobb County. And the Cobb County Fire Department declined to speak about this on camera until after next week when Cobb commissioners vote on the consent decree. But in a statement, Chief Bill Johnson said they remain dedicated to hiring, retaining, and recruiting well-qualified firefighters. Reporting live in Cobb County tonight, Chelsea Bime 4, Atlanta News First.